Karen, thanks for having me up here. Oh, thank you. I'm so glad you could make it. Well, your pools are so beautiful. I just really want to know how they're made. Thank you. We make um, plunge pools. They're deep bodies of water that are cool in the summer, warm in the winter. So is that, does that process start here? Yeah, we make them right here at this concrete factory. Okay. A traditional pool would be poured on site. Yeah. Um, sometimes the weather can be a problem. We're able to make them right here in a controlled environment and using all the equipment that our concrete factory um, already has. That's fantastic. So can I see how the process goes? Yeah, let's go take a look. All right, cool. So one of the things that makes this process so efficient is that our precaster pours a lot of products at the same time. You can see they're making a pump vault. Yep. They make septic tanks. That is very efficient. And this is our pour right here. Okay. We've given them all the dimensions for the pool. We're going to have a four inch wall. The rebar is in between those two panels. Okay. We have given them all the locations of the pipe okay. for the plumbing and they'll be pouring the concrete right in there. So they mix the concrete in the next room and they bring it in on the pouring bucket right here on the crane. That's efficient, so they could go to each one, do a pour, pour, pour. That's right. Here comes another bucket. You can see that we, uh, the pools are done in multiple pours. It's going to take about three buckets to get the pool all the way filled. This pool will end up weighing over 16,000 pounds. Wow, in just about 10 minutes, you have yourself a pool. Well, not quite. The pool's going to sit here for about 24 hours. Okay. Then we're going to strip the forms. It'll cure for two to four weeks, and then we're going to bring it over to our shop. All right. So here we have a pool that's been curing for a couple of weeks. It's already been stripped out of its forms. Um, you can see that there's a waterproofing membrane applied to the lower third of the pool. Um, you see here a copper bonding wire to keep the pool safe from stray electrical current. Very important. The pipes you see here are part of the plumbing and we'll, we'll connect that to the equipment eventually. Okay, so what kind of work happens in your shop? Well, now we start the work of finishing the inside of the pool. And you can see Michael, our tiler, is in there working right now. He's applying a waterproofing membrane and the surface has been made nice and smooth for him by our fabricators. It looks like he's just painting it on. Yeah, he rolls on the waterproofing membrane to all four sides and the bottom. And then in the corners, he reinforces them with a fabric, and then he paints more waterproofing membrane over that. So that's just extra waterproofing to reinforce the corners? Right. Remember, it's a pool, so you can't have too much waterproofing. So now we let the waterproofing membrane dry for at least 24 hours, and then we can tile. Okay. Keep in mind the tiles that we pre-select are suitable for pool conditions. Uh, they'll be underwater most of the time mm -hmm. and they're suitable for freeze-thaw conditions in the event that um, somebody empties their pool and it's in freezing conditions. So they have to be weather appropriate. Yes. Mm -hmm. So here's some of the beautiful porcelain tiles that we really love to use in our pools. So you could use square, rectangular, it doesn't have to be a set size. Right. These, um, these work really well. Um, they blend so nicely with the natural landscape. And put them in just like you're in your bathroom. Pretty much. The materials that we use are stronger and are suitable for pools, but the process is very similar. Michael starts with a very strong thin set. Mm -hmm. He applies the tile, and you can see now that he's applying an epoxy grout all over the tile. So will that also help with waterproofing? Yes, it absolutely will. Okay. We have just a little more finished work to do inside the pool. Then we load it on a truck and we bring it to the site. Hey Steve. Hey Jen, good to see you. Good to see you too. Hey Karen, good to see you. Good to see you. It looks like everything is progressing just fine here. Yes, my wife and I are very excited. As you know, we're, we're building this house from the ground up and we're a couple weeks away from moving, so. And I totally understand why you wouldn't put a traditional size swimming pool in here, It'd take up the whole yard. Yeah, we're, so we're actually looking to start our family here and we weren't willing to kind of give up all the play space. So I think we kind of have the best of both worlds mm -hmm. where we have an area for the kids to run around and then we have this awesome entertaining space where you know we'll be able to entertain family and friends. And I want to show you guys kind of how we envision this laying out, right? So this is our breakfast nook. That's our family room. We kind of want to have a space that flows right out here, which is why we're putting a deck here. And the deck is actually going to flow down to a patio uh, that's going to have a fire pit, barbecue off to the awesome. side, some table chairs. Yeah. yeah, we're really excited. And then over here is uh, where the plunge pool is going to be. Look at this. It's so perfectly just tucked in using all usable space. I love this little nook. It's looking good. We came in, uh, we've excavated, we've laid 18 inches of crushed stone, mm -hmm. we've laser leveled, we've marked our spot for the pool placement. Now we just got to get the pool in. 
The okay. dimensions that we've chosen for the pool um, are ones that fit easily on a flatbed truck. There go, 18,000 pounds. That's incredible. It's always nice when it's away from the house. <laughs> yes, <laughs> keep swinging that way. <laughs> Wow, he just cleared that tree at the top. He's got mad skills. Fifteen and a quarter still? Fifteen and a quarter. And just like that, you've got a pool. Awesome, that went fast. I know, it's amazing. Karen, let me help you with that. Okay, that'd be great. What do you have here, Karen? Well, we brought your equipment, Steve, or this is some of it. Um, we've pre-assembled this in our shop. Here's your automation panel so you can run your pool from your smartphone, um, pump, filter. We have a heater to bring in. We'll locate this away from the pool. We'll dig a trench from the pool to the equipment pad, and then we'll backfill the pool. Cool. And once you backfill, you're going to have this exposed concrete from the pool, so you're going to be able to veneer whatever you'd like, whether it be stone or wood. I like that. And once the landscape and hardscape crews come in, this is all going to come together so beautifully. Your patio and your pool will have natural materials that blend so nicely together, and I'm excited. I think it will be beautiful. Awesome. Thank you guys so much. I'm so excited. Thank you for having us, and thank you, Karen. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button to make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.